What's up, YouTubers? Today we're going to take a look at the Wii Knives Roxy 3. Kind of in between the Roxy, which is a 2.6 inch blade, and the Roxy 4. Designed by Seth Todd. I'm sure Terrell had some play in this one um, of Todd, Knife and Tool. And I got to tell you, bottom line, you're looking at possibly Knife of the Year on this one. Um, this is a 4.2 ounce blade or for 4.2 ounce knife with a 3.12 inch blade of s35 yen steel that might be heartache to some people it prices at 230 dollars for me it's not i don't mind that's a very well balanced steel think about it until about a year ago all chris reeve knives were shipping with that and it's just fine um you know it's no 20 cv or n390 that's fine, especially at $230. Um, this is, in fact, a frame lock. I got the one with uh, black coating and the bronzed hardware. Yes, I did want the, uh, the flame anodized, uh, basically, uh, scales on this one. Those were all out. And, yeah, I was basically late night browsing on videos, and lefty EDCs popped up. And I saw this one. I said, you know what? This doesn't really match up with anything that i have in my collection i have north of 100 knives strong and i love this one um, i just saw it and i was like oh yeah so I went for it immediately and they're basically it seems as though they're kind of all out now i can almost guarantee these will come back um what i will say from we knives is the snex mini buster one of the few things that i have to kind of compare this to at all went sold and uh, came back so these sorts of things will come back. It's not like it's in a sprint run. I'm hoping not. Um, it does seem as though there may be some discontinuation of the regular Roxy and the Roxy 4. Hopefully not on this one, because I honestly think this is something that you're looking at selling thousands and thousands of knives of. Um, so hopefully we, we don't run into that. But as comparisons go, I don't really have a whole lot. It kind of looks like a little bit of a cleaver, you know, but it's not really. Definitely a worn cliff blade. Doesn't have that annoying flipper. That's why I don't like cleavers myself. And I really had kind of given up on knives with that shape. You basically just run right into it, not even being able to use half that blade um, for the most part because the, uh, the those flippers get in there. But that's kind of where that one ends. And really, you know, possibly, like I said, this the next Mini Buster from Wee Knives is about the closest. In terms of the fit and finish, I would definitely say that, yeah, the bronzing that they did on this black inversion is fantastic and very much representative of what I saw in that one and really enjoyed. So the lines of it are very mechanical. Um, the, you know, in hand, it's very similar in terms of width. Obviously, this next is a little bit longer and this is a little bit shorter. So jumping right into that, um, let's talk about it. Uh, the fidgeting is just, is, is amazing. You've got the middle finger. That seems to be the most satisfying thumb in the hole top flipper i'm not the best top flipper but boy this one was just natural you can kind of even with a little bit of El english from the wrist use the fuller on that thing to flip that thing out i was like well let me try it left-handed oh my gosh flip you know through the hole back side spidey is fantastic thumb great uh, you know i'm not I'm definitely not a good left-handed <laughs> top flipper perfect so i said to myself oh the detent must be crap on this and it's going to come out in your pocket. No, the answer is it's not. This is not going to come loose in your pocket. The detent is literally perfect. This is one of those where it is so perfectly tuned that I just, I can't even tell you. It's fantastic. The action's really good. You know, it's kind of a, kind of a thick blade stop, 0.16. And, um, you know, even with that, it's ground fairly well up to the top of the fuller. It, it, it cuts decently. I definitely went through my share of boxes. Um, I, I will say it's great for draw cuts. Fantastic. You know, just does some really good there. And then in terms of going through the boxes, definitely once you kind of get to the top of that fuller, the shoulders will start to catch on double thick. So it's not the greatest, but boy, for a single, single thinness of boxes, it just tore right through them. So in that sense, it, it very much behaved like a cleaver, which I do like that about cleavers is they cut through boxes when you're kind of breaking them down just because they have that really tall blade and, and fantastic. Ergonomically, in the back position here, 
the the clip kind of sticks you know sticks you a little bit but that's not really where this knife is at in all honesty you you, you can kind of get your pinky finger on medium large hands here but boy you go right to that front choil and oh that is absolutely where this knife is at and i you know it's it's literally perfect the jimping to support that is fantastic it has a little bit of um a little bit of chamfering on those side edges, but still has enough texture to help grab on. Really, really good. I, you know, they even switched the uh, the top side of this over the fuller. So if you are going to do things like boxes, it actually goes over there pretty well. Like I said, double thick cardboard, not the greatest, just because of the thick blade stock. Single, oh, fantastic. This thing, you're just going to fidget on all day long. Missed that one, but oh my gosh. It, it's something about this is just really really good useful knife very beautiful um yeah it, it's it's everything perfectly centered it is great we fit and finish you know on the downside i'd say maybe a little bit thick stock they could have possibly gone with a little bit thinner stock um and with s35 being tough enough it would have withstood that and would have been an even better slicer um, the availability of it at this point in time, the fact that these have seemed to have largely sold out very quickly. So hope to goodness these come back in the next few months. Who knows, maybe three, six months? I don't know. But I truly hope that they do because this is definitely going to be one of those things that honestly, I think this is going to... I, I, I haven't bought a ton of new models, but boy, this, this smells of knife of the year. This particular design, the fit and finish, the manufacturing of it it's it, it really is i just I, I it's tough to find a lot of flaws in this knife other than those the other things that i found you know the, the pocket clip kind of from the back position here but it just absolutely melts away and goes away for the most part when you move up to that toil um in the pole cut position it does great you know like i said that's kind of that's kind of about what i got on this one just not a lot of bad to say a lot of bad to say about it uh keep an eye out on them for them they you know hopefully they do find their way back into availability or, or check additional sites i got this one from i don't remember it might have been knife center blade hq or one of those but it, it's uh they seem to be drying up very quickly again kind of on the downside overall i do believe this is going to be basically in there for knife of the year and uh a great edc knife classy looks nice yeah this thing is going to be a champion it is a treasure absolutely so hope you did enjoy this and found it of use if so hit go ahead and hit like and subscribe and have a great day take care now